everyone what's up. This is God War 3 exclusively on the PlayStation 3. And this is the review. Alright, so to kick it off, God of War 3 story is uh, somewhat in interesting. Uh, basically, for those of you who are new to this series or haven't even heard of this game, you play the God of War, Kratos, and he embarks on a journey of revenge uh, to go and kill Zeus because for some reason he's really pissed at him. And the whole, basically the whole game is you uh, basically killing all the gods and trying to get to Zeus. This is the final chapter in the God of War series, so there's definitely uh, lots of uh, violence and definitely just uh, lots of story here. What you're going to find uh, is that the story is interesting, it's just, to me it wasn't as interesting enough as I thought it would be. I didn't have as much fun with the game as I thought it would. And you know, that's... That's as expected, you know. I I, didn't, I thought I was gonna have fun, but I didn't think I was gonna have you know a lot of fun. I had it was in between there. I mean, some parts just pissed me off. Uh, some you know, you're a god. Why can little enemies kill you so fast? It just it doesn't ma it doesn't make sense, you know. And um, so I I had a little bit of trouble with the difficulty. I I'm playing this on God right now. It's the normal mode. Uh, but there's also the hard and easy mode, and, um, yeah, but I just thought that the game was challenging, and, you know, that is good in some ways, but when it's challenge too challenging, meaning, like, you know, it feels like you're playing this on the hardest difficulty, then that, you have a problem, you know. So I thought that they could have uh, lowered the difficulty a bit, a little bit. Graphic-wise, this game is, uh, definitely one of the best. The whole, all with the character models and stuff, they all look fantastic. Um, Kratos is probably, you know, the most detailed character out there. You can see, uh, the, uh, this, the scars and stuff on his body and 
all that stuff and uh, he definitely looks and uh, feels like an actual god you know that's really powerful so uh, overall the graphics were um, awesome and but they are not the best so I found uh, I found in my opinion that uh, Uncharted 2 is still the best but you know time will only tell what game can beat that but anyway um, I thought that God of War 3 was a fun uh, experience with great graphics and stuff uh, gameplay wise uh, pretty similar I have to say to uh, Dante's Inferno actually the whole game is somewhat similar the story is uh, you know it's different but it's similar it takes place in hell and stuff you can go in the underworld and stuff and graphic wise this game is obviously so much better it's an exclusive but as far as uh, gameplay wise it's pretty much for you pressing a button stringing out combos in order to uh, overall make uh, your performance a lot better so yeah, for those of you who watch my Dante's Inferno, in Dante's Inferno review you know that I really did not like that game I gave it a 6 out of 10 um, this is, is this is what Dante's Inferno could have been though but um I, I just overall I, that's just when I was playing the game that's what I got from it I was like alright this is just the better version of Dante's Inferno so overall gameplay is just uh, really awesome but overall you're not gonna really you're not gonna really find um you know a lot of gameplay out of this you'll probably play this game once and uh, probably never play it again until like you know maybe you're bored or something or maybe just to beat on the hard difficulty but it could have been better alright uh, overall uh, I'm gonna give God of War 3 an 8 out of 10 because it still is good um, you should definitely pick it up if you haven't played it already if not a rental you know at least a rental so um yeah I, I'll talk to you guys later have a great day